how much does that affect your choices about where to go with storylines and casting? Does it affect us at all? Not at all, not one bit. Uh, I think Americans in particular would feel patronised if we did that. I would be appalled if uh, the makers of, I don't know, the West Wing or Breaking Bad decided to put in a, a British character to appeal to me. I think the American fans of the show want it to be what it is. Yeah. And anyway, I wouldn't even know how to make it appeal to a British audience. I just know how to make it appeal to me. Right, so that's what we do. We make the show that appeals to us. Believe me, if you've just seen us watching that trailer, you know how much it does appeal to us. <laughs> 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 oh, God, all you love our show. Thank you. Uh, to Arthur and Karen, why are you leaving the series? Well, um, <laughs> because, because it seems like the right time. Yeah. yeah, we've known for a while. We all sat down with mm. you guys about like, a year and a half ago, mm. and, we, and it came out of a discussion. It was like, how yeah. long? How long should we stay for? And there's nothing worse than that staying welcome. And, and you know, we've had the most incredible time. Yeah. Well, we've had a nice run at it as well. Longest yeah. running companions. Yeah. 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 Series, yeah. So that's good. Cool. Yeah. And like, you know, it's it's a strange thing. It'll be really sad when we leave, but also we know, you know we can read through for the episode that we're leaving for the last time. And it's, you know, it's, it's going to be an amazing piece of television. And it's, you know, that's, we're so honoured to be involved in it in the first place. It just feels like the right time to kind of to go while we're leaving. Are you pleased with your exit scene? Oh my god. Yeah. I am so pleased. <laughs> I just hope that I can deliver it well. When do you actually film the last scene? I don't know. I have no idea. And it's not done in, in chronological order either, yeah. so it might just be something really boring on green screen or something for our last scenes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. But that is the block we're doing now. Yeah, yeah. the block we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the episode one, episode five. Um, no, no, it's, it's, they've become, you know, two of my closest friends. Um, and uh, I, 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 first and foremost, I'll miss the creative relationship because it's, it's brilliant. We know how to press each other's buttons. And um, as friends, we get on really well. So um, it's just, it's hard to explain. You'll just miss, whenever one of us is bored on set, we find one of the other two and irritate each other and, and to find, to be able to, to sort of be comfortable enough to do that, it's rare, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm slightly worried about going to other things just in terms of the, 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 the way we've been interacting yeah. with each other and we know how to kind of keep each other entertained. I think if we started doing that with people in other jobs, it's think we're weird. mental. Yeah. So, uh, I, yeah. yeah. Am I the only one who enjoys using the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to use it. It's really, I it's just quite, like, just getting a bit too close. It's quite satisfying. <laughs> As you'll still be filming in July, the trip to San Diego Comic Con is going to be this year. There is definitely a trip to Comic Con. Yeah, we're all we're, we're all really we're excited. We're all going. We're all going. We're all going. Yeah. Uh, I've got a quick question for Arthur and Karen. Um, do you think you'd be attracted to sci-fi again in the future, or is this it for you? Oh, I definitely love to do more sci-fi. Yeah. It's really fun. With having done the best thing. Kind of hard to know what, what, what it would be. I'd love to come back to the monsters. Yeah, and I would be an alien, maybe. Yeah, it's, yeah. You and the Daleks. You and the Daleks. The one that's facing the wrong way. Can't work it. Um, this is to Stephen. Um, you got asked earlier about how the pressures of creating content that might appeal to an American audience, but Seeing as Doctor Who is now so based in Cardiff and there's such a, a Welsh kind of identity to it, do you feel perhaps a little bit of pressure to include shots of Cardiff or elements to film in Cardiff? Look, I mean, we don't have pressure to include shots of Cardiff. We film it here, right? <laughs> I mean, there isn't a lot of choice. Just about every shot you see you get in Doctor Who, we've got an element of Cardiff. But do you feel there'd be a big backlash if you didn't do that? A big backlash uh, if we didn't from the fans. Uh, if you weren't, to, if you suddenly if we didn't Cardiff, we're moving Cardiff. to America now. We're not going to film the Cardiff anymore. Oh, you mean we? What? Well, we naturally. We, we, we're not going to do that. Show, it's a BBC World show. I mean, uh, uh, we don't. At the same time, we're not gratuitously including Cardiff. That'd be patronising. Sure, it's yeah. a great place to film. There are fantastic locations here, and the people to work with are wonderful. So uh, we like doing that, but there's, there's no pressure from anyone to make it a show largely set in Wales. It's a show largely made in Wales, that's made in Wales. Thank you. Thank you.
we love working with us very, very much. I have a question for all of you. What have you thought about today? Uh, brilliant. Love yeah. it. So yeah. much fun. Brilliant. It's, um, I think, you know, it, 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 uh, we've done a couple of these in America, just because things like Comic Con and stuff. Um, and I think it's, um, it's a shame we don't get to do them in England in the same way. And I think uh, just having met people and stuff, you know, people seem really enthused. And sure. I think that's the point of it, when you, yeah. when you get to meet the fans, you know. So. And then, you know, we just showed the trailer there. And, just, I, I mean, just seeing everybody's reactions was just <laughs> extraordinary. But it's that thing, we all work so hard that the, the days that you get to hang out with the fans, particularly here in the Millennium Centre, which has just been really special, yeah. just, mm -hmm. it kind of really counts, you know, because you spend so much time shooting mad long hours. Um, you do forget, you forget like, how much people love it. Yeah. yeah. People do actually want to We're, we're they? just kind of there working, kind of concentrating on trying to make it the best that it can be. And then you step out of something like this and you see people's reaction to it. It's, it's, it's kind of odd to, to kind of see it from the other, the other side, but, mm -hmm. but brief and it's great to kind of see the reactions. Just, mm -hmm. Have you got any plans for any more spin-off shows? Uh, what need to occupy our many spare hours? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like a bad time now. Uh, currently, not, not, not against it, but you know, uh, spin-off shows happen because you think that is so good, we should, we should spend that off. Uh, but, uh, I'm uh, personally relatively busy. Uh, it would be, I'm not looking for a third series actively. But you never know. Sunday nights, I'm sure you yeah, yeah. But you never know. Is there anything you can share with us on series 7? Any bits of news or information? Well, everybody else except you lots on the train. <laughs> <laughs> you ask anyone out there. <laughs> <laughs> say, Yo, we were sitting in a room looking at some empty chair. Come see our next session and see the new trailer. See the new trailer will be the best thing, but uh, it's. Well, you know the headlines, Amy and Rory leaving, uh, tragedy, heartbreak, and a western. Uh, what more do you want to do? Daleks. Yeah, and Daleks, yeah. Come on, don't take that off. Guys, can I like crossover? <laughs> well, we're going to them, Doctor Who. We'd love to see a Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then Hugh, and just Hugh could yeah. sort of turn into a pirate for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Well, do you know, now that I've realised I do have this power, <laughs> that I, I don't know, I mean, turbines, anything, yeah. unicorn horns, unicorn horns, maybe yeah. people are just uh, giant clown shoes, I think. <laughs> Uh, for girls, uh, comedy ears. With the amount of chin gags, like uh, I'm surprised people don't start coming in with prosthetic chins. I'm suggesting. I always assumed you did. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> uh, I have a question for Arthur. Um, I saw a film with you in a few months ago. Uh, Pelican Blood. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was a great film. Yeah. It was me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Are you, are you, is that something that you want to do, again, make more films? Yeah, or, yeah definitely. Yeah. I love, I love um, films. I think the closest thing to filming this, actually, is doing films. You, you kind of, yeah, um, I'd love to do some more kind of, kind of independent films. And see yeah. So, uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I have a quick question for Karen. Um, mm -hmm. I've heard that you're starring in a Scottish film called Not, Not Another Happy Ending. Yes. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about going from starring in shows in Wales and England and going back to Scotland and acting there? I think I'm really looking forward to it. It's good that stuff's being made up there that isn't about like drug use or um, <laughs> like fighting the English. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. It's not too late. One more drug. <laughs> so um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. In uh, Glasgow, it's going to be it's going to be fun. I just ask Matt, how do you feel about kind of moving on without these two, if you are all such good buddies? You want to build up again? Well, you know, all good things come to an end, and, and uh, I'm very excited for my friends to go on to pastures new. And, and I think the only the only thing that you can do with Doctor Who is is go with change, because otherwise it leaves you behind. So we embrace the future, and we look forward to to Jenna. But uh, I, I will never forget my, my time with Conan Arthur. Very special. Without sort of sounding too earnest, you sound like you were so. I thought that a lot today. Yeah, I should have been like, yeah, you know, I'm just an actor, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, 
it's really hard. Actually. Yeah, but I, I will miss them. I really will because they, they make me laugh and they're silly, and I can take the piss out of them. I'll be phoning you when I'm on the beach and you're in where. I know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I'll be like, how's life in series one? <laughs> you're another no, way. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Elaborate on the series 7 break or not break. We've got six episodes this year and eight next. Yeah. Is there going to be a break at Christmas or is it just going to be continuous? Uh, scheduling decisions are always up in the air. Anything I thought today would be constant tomorrow, as you know, until the radio times is in. Uh, it's, not, it's not true, so I'm not, I could not really know. But I mean, it's essentially it will straddle, it will straddle Christmas, it will be like six this year and eight next year. I hated people coming up fussing about their makeup and then saying, no, you have to stand over there again, and they did the shot again and again, it was really boring. So now what I can do is inflicting that on other people <laughs> in as many uncomfortable <coughs> and amusing ways as I can. <laughs> I was a really terrible actor, so it's not good. Good at stage directions, I can read those really fast. Yeah, 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 really yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. That's a feat. In the next series, are there any plans to do one of those sort of more light-hearted, slightly sillier episodes, or are they all going to be more dramatic? Because uh, Doctor Who's never seen. Yeah, we've, we've, no. we've been avoiding that light-hearted <laughs> series. <laughs> uh, the man in the bow tie who lives in the phone box to save the universe. <laughs> um, uh, it, there's the full range. We have really said we, we've got everything. I think Jane was saying in the in the, uh, uh, in the, in the five you're about to uh, see that we mostly focus on at the moment. You've got everything from utter heartbreaking tragedy to knockabout silly fun. I mean, really, and sometimes within minutes of each other. I, I don't think Doctor Who has ever done Doctor Who. It's only one thing at a time. Mm. It's to just keep, just keep surprising me. Uh, I think the changes in tone mm. uh, are so far. I like to think so sure of it. That's what defines it. So you'll get everything. But if you're laughing and saying, oh, this is so silly, expect to be crying in five minutes. Thank you. Isn't life like that? <laughs> okay, we'll take a few more questions. So, get them in now. Uh, this is for the whole panel. If the TARDIS turned up right now and you got one trip, what would you go? Mm -hmm. I'd go really far into the future and um, see how we've evolved. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's if you liked it. I yeah. don't fancy any of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like we might look different, you know, and develop like strange, like a, a new feature or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, you don't know what we'll need. Okay. Well, let's do <laughs> thumbs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have yeah, massive thumbs because yeah. probably strong for texting. I think I'd just be relieved that I'd never ever have to remember to record something on the telly again because I'm in your own time machine. Don't forget my play. Yeah, you can just see anything. Good. Um, I, I always say that I'd go back to um, to see the gig on the top of Apple Studios to see the Beatles play. I should probably come up with a different answer. Yeah. I've said that a lot. I've said that. I've said the same one a lot as well. I'm trying to think. Well, that's a good answer. answer. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is probably what I would do. But I've said it a lot. I'd come with you. Yeah, we could do that together. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've never had to answer this one, have you? Oh yeah. This is your first go. Hey. What is it? November twenty third, nineteen sixty. <gasps> what happened? Well, <laughs> and she is leaving. <laughs> <laughs> History began. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, let's take one more question <laughs> for our guys. Here's one more ask question. William Russell is still going to conventions 50 years on. Do you think you'll still be going to do conventions in 2060? Gosh, I, I don't know. know. It depends on the financial constraints of my life at the time. No, 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 no. I mean, who knows? It's like how long's a piece of string, but uh, this is a good start, I think, yeah. and Comic-Con, and I enjoy them, you know, I enjoy meeting everyone, but... Yeah. We'll um, go, but Stephen will be 100 then. I'll be in a motorised <laughs> burn. Can I frozen? Still shouting at people. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and are you staying on for the next series, Stephen? Yeah. <laughs> In case you're a dollar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's a good time to end. Um, Thank you, everyone. Show your appreciation Thank you.